it's absolutely a short, especially because we could not get above this level and stay there. So coming into the day in Twitter and now certainly intraday, definitely be looking at Twitter on the short side. So if you got that pick in, we're about to start in a minute. So I'm just going to walk everybody through. If you happen to be logged into the game or if you're looking at the game for the first time, you would actually log in. You get taken right to the dashboard, which is kind of cool. So you'll see upcoming games here, which you can see we have 22, 21 seconds till this game starts. And then we will see the live game jump over here, and we will start to do the play-by-play -play on some of your live picks to see who is actually going to end up in the money today and put into that sweepstakes. So kind of cool. We are five seconds into it. Let's actually take a look and see what the SPY is doing, if it bounced at all. Uh, inside candle in the SPY now. So we've got inside candle still below the opening price. If it pushes down, we can get a lot of people squeezed on the wrong side. So... Now we just jumped over. Now we're going to start the game and start to see where the picks come in. So you can see where my picks are. We're immediately um, three out of five. You can see the P&L here. I am short Facebook, long Apple. I am short, which means I sold Netflix, went long in Goldman Sachs, and I went long in Twitter. But we're going to focus on your picks right now, and I'm going to quickly go through. You can see that I am down here in 35th place. Picking up the rear, <laughs> well, that's all right. Let's actually see what uh, Zerofit is doing here. Uh, loaded the boat here on the CVX short, so let's actually take a look at that CVX short. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, remember what we said here, we had upside, um, basically upside potential that was limited. Now, I want to walk through this trade on the daily chart to show you. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this chart on the daily chart was a sideways mess and you can actually see here we just bounced into resistance so again this is actually really kind of cool in two different ways that it's playing out they actually loaded up on the short and, and got the fill at the time the game started which is really cool because we actually just called the fact that that stock was petering out no pun intended because that's my name but petering out on the long side with less profit potential even though it gapped higher today so the fact that the fill is when the game starts is a huge advantage for this short sale. You can see uh, the allocation of their buying power here, almost 3,000 shares to the short. So if that short does end up being the top in that trade, that's going to be an awesome, awesome trade there. 